If you're someone like me who loves the game but don't have all time to sit in front of a desktop PC, chances are you're going to invest in a gaming laptop. But let's face it, if you are to play AAA game titles with high graphic setting and with smooth frame rates, you're going to get a laptop with a GTX 1060 inside. Well, that's the minimum requirement. But these laptops are expensive, they cost at least 5,000 ringgit and above for that kind of specs with some flashy features that you don't even need. But today, this is going to change all that perception. This is the ASUS Tough Gaming FX505 gaming laptop. It comes with a 8th Gen Core i7-8750H processor, it has a 144Hz display, a 15.6 inch display to be exact, and you have a GTX 1060 right inside. And ASUS has teased us that this is going to go under 5,000 ringgit. So literally, this is like the first 8th Gen i7 laptop with a GTX 1060 that goes down that price. So if that's true, this is going to be a really attractive mid-range gaming laptop and I've been using this um, for a week already. So what does ASUS have to compromise in order to make this laptop that affordable? Not a lot to be honest, and definitely not too much of a deal breaker. The FX505 is what you would expect from an ASUS Tough product line. It comes with a strong and solid metal chassis that features a radiating X design unique to the series. And ASUS says that the laptop could take on some accidental bumps and drops as it has passed military-grade test standards. The ASUS logo now lights up in either gold or red depending on the model you choose. What I don't like is the selection of ports. Though I really like that ASUS has positioned all of them on the left so you get more space to move your mouse on the right. There's no USB-C port and a card reader, which isn't entirely a deal breaker, but definitely something that ASUS could have included over the FX504. So as you can see here, the base of the FX505 is very similar to the previous model, the FX504. So you have a total of 11 screws right here that you would need to take it out using a Phillips screwdriver and you would need to use a prior to pry open the case just like this over to the side and you just take it out like this in one piece. So let's take a look at the layout of the motherboard itself. So right here we have the 8GB DDR4 RAM. You can add up to uh, 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM via two RAM slots. So here's an extra RAM slot for you to upgrade your RAM. And this is the 128GB Kingston UV500 PCIe SSD. And the interesting part here is the cooler. Like you can see right here, this is the GPU part. The GPU, the GPU here has an extra copper heat pipe over here that uh, actually cools out and it ventilates heat through to ventilation so that's actually pre pretty interesting that's how asus was able to keep the system running cool steady and has a really great performance and this is the cpu cooler uh the copper heat sink is shared together with the gpu so um it's actually pretty it works pretty well too so it actually ventilates heat right up to the back here and here is the SATA hard drive of the laptop which comes with a one terabyte hard drive so the internals of the FX505 is easily accessible and you can basically upgrade your hard drive, your, your RAM, your storage pretty easily by just uh, taking a screw or just installing it. So I really like the layout of the FX505 and that's about it of the layout of the Tough Gaming FX505 laptop. One noticeable improvement ASUS has made over the FX504 is the super slim display bezels on its 15.6 inch display, which the company calls it a nano inch display. I like that ASUS has added some texture around it to make it look different from the usual slim laptop displays I've come across. Colors look a little warmer than usual, but viewing angles are great, and if not the best, this is one of the best gaming laptop displays of its class, with a fast response time and 144Hz refresh rate. Also, the laptop's loudspeakers are really good for a gaming laptop. It has decent loudness and is able to produce bright audio frequencies and bass without distortion. The keyboard comes with an all RGB lighting zone. The WASD keys are highlighted with transparent keycaps, and you can configure various lighting effects with the Tough Aura Core app. I love the key travel and feedback it offers, but I really think the right control key is too big and a waste of space, while the directional keys are cramped right under the numpad area, which I usually press on the zero key accidentally if I'm not careful. The trackpad uses Windows Precision drivers and it works great. It registers multi-touch gestures accurately and I find it to be even better than some expensive gaming laptops. 
I spent some time playing a few rounds of PUBG, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and ran some benchmarks over the past week. Overall, the laptop is a pretty silent machine even when gaming at full load. ASUS does give you an option to increase the fan speed manually with the overboost mode, which not only cools down your system but also keeps dust out of the air vents. All thanks to the great thermal design, I was able to get the CPU running at max boost speed all the time. You should be able to get at least an average 50 frames per second on most current AAA game titles when running on 1080p high graphics setting. The SSD speed is also remarkable on both sequential and random file transfers. I managed to score 1.5GB per second on sequential read and 400MB per second on sequential write. Though not the fastest I've experienced, but it's better than a lot of other gaming laptops of the same class. In terms of battery life, I managed to get up to 4 hours of usage with mere productivity tasks, which I really think isn't bad for a gaming laptop like this. The only problem I had is the heavy 180 watt power brick that weighs down my back. And speaking of the latter, ASUS has bundled the FX505 with a nice and robust backpack in the box, which costs 149 ringgit if you were to purchase separately. Great job on that, ASUS. I really think that the ASUS Tough Gaming FX505 is a gaming laptop that is made for everyone. I mean, if you really like the game and you don't have a lot of money to spend on a gaming laptop, it does away with all the unnecessary flashy features and in return, you get great performance and practical features at an accessible price tag. At this completion of this review, ASUS didn't reveal any pricing details about the FX505 just yet, but we expect them to review more on the October 22nd where they will be hosting an event to announce both the ROG phone and this laptop at the event itself. So we expect the price of the FX505 to be pretty much the same as the FX504 from 3000 plus up to 4000 plus. So that's a pretty affordable price tag for any gamers who has a budget constraint. So that's it for the review of the ASUS Tough Gaming FX505. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more weekly gadget reviews just like this. Be sure to follow us on social media as well for those, wait for those uh, great tech updates, news and so on. And I will see you soon in the very next one.